Welcome to Baseball News Club. My name is Chris. Today we're going to go over some off-season things that are happening all week. First thing is, did you hear about Matthew McConaughey running, possible running for governor of Texas? All right, all right, all right. This week we heard about Mike Clevenger signing a two-year deal with the Padres, but he's injured. He's going to miss all 2021. Um, now before the NLDS, he had an elbow impingement. And then he was cleared to play for the NLDS, and then he left the game. He just signed a two-year deal. Um, was it a knee-jerk reaction by the Padres to sign him? Because I'm seeing a lot of comments out there, people saying this was he was damaged goods. You can still have arm problems and still pitch and be effective, but it just seems like he's damaged goods. Now, the big news that hit yesterday is Robinson Cano. He tested positive for PEDs. He's suspended for the entire 2021 season. That's 162 games. He did the same thing back in 2018, if you recall. He was suspended for 80 games for testing positive. Now, here's a guy who's 38 years old. He's almost at the 3,000 hit club. He has World Series rings, eight-time All-Star, two-time Gold Glove winner, 2,634 hits. So he's almost at 3,000 hits. Is this going to ruin his career? Does this pretty much block him out for the Hall of Fame? Because you look at Sosa and Bonds, all these other players accused of PEDs, they're done. So he's been the top in the top six of MVP five times. He's a great second baseman, but his and his contract is good into 2023. He's 29 doubles away from 600 doubles. He's on, only 17 players have ever done that. And you know, here's what's interesting. This opens up something. If they're not going to pay him because he, he has to forfeit 24 million dollars to his salary, if the Mets aren't going to pay him, does that open up something for? DJ. Just something to think about. But very bad move on Cano. A lot of fans are really pissed off. They feel really cheated by him. Second time around. Doesn't look good for him towards the end of his career. Probably just buried his Hall of Fame chances. Thank you for watching Baseball News Club.